Hi, it's Kent Barber here from Game Logic Design. Today I'm going to show you how to work with DICOM files within uh, Cinema 4D using the 4D Publish DICOM loader. So 4D Publish comes with a DICOM file format importer. This works on Windows and OS X. And what it does is basically look, finds DICOM files and the ones that it can load, it will load in and then you can load them in and use them in Cinema 4D however you need to. So what I'm just going to show you first is where you can actually find these. Some people may not know what DICOM files are or where you can find them. So DICOM files are a medical imaging file format from CAT scans and, um, and PET scans and MRIs and all sorts of things like that. And uh, this here is actually a scan of a brain going down to the torso, going down to the, the down, downwards, basically. And um, to get these, you can actually come to come to the website cancerimagingarchive.net. Now this contains a, a whole ton of free to use DICOM files of uh, scans from cancer patients and that includes all sorts of things um, all parts of the body I should say and this is all used for research purposes you can use it for commercial purposes as well if you do use it you should probably um, you need to uh, put in citations to say where you got your images from. So this is a quick example of how to use this. So this is cameraimagingarchive.net. You can come in here and you can search for the types of scans that you want. So here's a scan here that includes the head and neck, and which is the one that you actually saw just previously. It's got a CT scan, CT scan. That's kind of the one I'm looking for here, and it's public. So you can just click on that, and it will take you to the information about the scans. And down here you can see a detailed description of what the scans are. There's the number of patients there, number of studies, actual number of images. This has like 108 gigabyte worth of DICOM images in this actual entire uh, collection here. And you can also look under the usages here, and that's what you need to specify if you were to use this in any specific way. Um, and uh, if we just come up here, you might not want the whole 108 gigabytes, and so you can actually use this to search. Now when you download, it actually uses Java, a Java application in the background to download. And to get this running, uh, you need the Java runtime environment. So if you just go into your Google and type in Java runtime environment, you're gonna come up with, the first link will be this one here, and you can click on that. And just come over to Oracle, and you just download the one for your computer here. And then when you, uh, you can just click this and, and uh, it'll bring up a file to download or you can actually come into search and you can actually look around this a little bit as well. So let's just click on search. We'll come in here, we'll click on one of these data sets here to go into it. And then in here you can have another look by going onto the thumbnails. Just click on that thumbnail, bring up another window and it'll show you what's in the actual scan there. And you can have a look through it to see if that's kind of got the data that you, you're wanting. And if you're happy with that, then you can just click on the little button here. And then you can come up and go Manage Data Basket. And then you come up and you go Download Manager. Again, you have to make sure you've got that um, Java Runtime Environment installed for this to work. And it might come up with a warning on your computer. You just go Keep It. And then you run that. And it's going to run the Java downloading application, which is on my second screen here. And this is what it looks like. And you give it the destination. and let it go, and it's going to download that data set. So this is just a 40 meg, and there's 81 images in this set. So we'll just let that complete. Doesn't take very long. And once that's downloaded, now we can come back into Cinema 4D. And we just, I'll just bring up the tree view on the side here. And I've already got some images from this data set loaded already. And that new one is here. That's the new one I just downloaded. So I can now open this up, have a look, and it'll load in all the DICOM images. And then we can just double click one of these to have a look at it. So you can use these in Cinema 4D however you want. Um, we're going to be working on this a lot more and hopefully work on some volumetric uh, segmentation algorithms to break out the various organs and parts of the body as well 
and let you do a lot more in Cinema 4D. But at the moment, this is all it will do for you. It will just allow you to load in the DICOM images themselves. So it's just another file format, another image that you can use in any kind of work that you might want to do. Okay, thanks.